In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the updated Gen 2 Milwaukee 18 gauge brad nailer after I put it through a ton of use. Let's get into it. Alright, I've got some footage from the job site that I'll show and we'll run some tests today, but let's just quickly run through the specs. And the kit comes with the full size bag, the dual M12 and M18 charger, and the kit comes with the CP 2.0 red lithium battery. It's got the Power State brushless motor with Red Link Plus intelligence. It can shoot 5 8 to 2 and 1 8 inch brad nails, 18 gauge, with a magazine capacity of 110 nails. The box says it'll shoot 3 nails per second, which I can't move it any faster than it'll shoot. It'll keep up with anything. So, and it weighs 6.3 pounds. At 6.3 pounds, you're probably thinking, holy smokes, that is heavy compared to an air gun, no way. And you're right, it is. It's probably three times heavier than a pneumatic gun. But in my opinion, this one, it's really well balanced at least. It's not one to topple over or anything. And you gotta remember, you don't have an air hose dragging behind you either, adding weight. I'm sure they'll keep trying to make these battery power tools lighter and lighter, but in this case, you're simply never gonna get as light as a pneumatic gun. You've got the motor, the fire mechanism, the battery. You just have to decide if the benefits outweigh the extra weight of it. And me personally, I've used it a ton and I'm, I got used to it pretty quick. All right, let's take a closer look at the gun. You've got the magazine release button here on the bottom. You can see how many nails you have left here on the side. It's got a really big belt hook and that comes in really handy. That's a must have. And you can switch that on either side, whatever you prefer. Power button right here in the middle. Just hold that for a second. You'll see the light come on. The mode button behind or underneath it. You can switch between a uh, single fire or sequential. Just press that to go between the two. The power button has been the biggest thing it's taken me a while to get used to. I don't know how many times I've just picked up the gun and tried to shoot and remembered I didn't turn the battery on first, but that's just something you're not used to with an air gun. Here on the other side, you've got the depth set adjustment. It has 26 different positions, so you can really fine tune the depth. Right down here on the side, you have some extra nose tips. It came with this one on it, and I was a little bummed. It's wider than I prefer. I like the skinnier ones. And it took me about a week to realize these were down here, honestly, because, you know, no one reads the brochures or nothing, but... I do like the shape of them as well with the angled heads there. It really helps trying to nail on an angle, and I'll show you an example of that here. There's an LED light right here that illuminates when you engage the tip. I haven't kept track of how many nails it'll last or anything, but with just the 2.0 battery, I've never been able to kill it in one single day's worth of work. So just keep it nice and lightweight with the 2.0. And right up top here is the latch to clear any jams and reset the striker. And it comes with a little pamphlet to show you how to reset the striker and everything after it jams, but I haven't counted how many nails I've shot or anything, but it's in the thousands, and I honestly have not had one single jam so far. I've posted about using this gun quite a bit over on Instagram, and from what I've read on other people, literally the only thing I've heard about this gun is that it doesn't like DeWalt nails. Every time someone has an issue with it, that seems to be the issue. So I've just been using the Grip Fast cheap nails from Menards, and also the Bostage on these three quarter inch nails and I have not had one single jam. So if you're having issues or on any gun, just try a, try a different nail. That could simply be the problem. Here's some real life work action using it to trim out this entire house. I'm getting the window jam extensions and casing all pre-assembled. And then you can see it's just so quick and easy to bounce around from room to room getting them installed without having to worry about air hoses. Just nice and clean and fully set nails every time. And it really is a joy to work with. All right, let's give this thing a workout now. I've got some one and three quarter inch oak here and some two inch nails.
That one there's a little close compared to the others, but it's set under the wood. I've got some purple heartwood here. I'm not going to go all rainbow on it because it's a uh, really expensive wood, but I'll just go along the edge here. And if you've worked with purple heart, it's one of the hardest woods there is. So. This is one thing I've noticed that I wanted to point out because in that last clip, the video is kind of shaky and it looks like there's a lot of recoil coming from the gun. But that's because after you shoot, you have to release the striker before you can shoot again. You can't just fire and scoot across the wood. It does have to be released before you can shoot again. So, hooked up my pneumatic gun here and on this one, you can just maybe put some nails in it, but you can just shoot and scoot it across the wood and keep firing without having to lift up every time. So that's just something I've noticed on Milwaukee, which I don't really need to shoot that fast usually anyway. So. This is just some primed pine here and I just wanted to show probably my favorite thing about the gun is just how clean these nail holes are. Literally it's just the size of the head, there's no crazy tear out or nothing. Alright, thanks for watching, hopefully you found it helpful. I'll leave a link below where I got mine from Factory Authorized Outlet. They always have killer deals going on over there. So. In case you couldn't tell throughout the video, I, this thing's pretty sweet and I really enjoy using it. So whatever problems they had with the Gen 1 version, I'd definitely say they took care of them and fixed it because this thing's pretty awesome. Until next time, guys. Take care.